Hello everyone, welcome to Nitya Cloud Tech. This is the part three of Matt Cloud Library series. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can create graphs using y axis value and uh, it will automatically take x axis value. So don't worry when I do it, I will show you how we can do it. And after that, I can show you how you can create different charts like a scatter chart, bar chart, and uh, the last part where I will take one scenario. And in that scenario, I will show you how you can see sales by country based on the different country and year. So let's start. So let me take first library. I can copy from here directly. Okay. So now I'm taking only by axis value. Let's say by equals to n p dot array. And let's say three, five, seven, nine. Okay. And then plt dot plot. Now I'm providing only y value. I'm not taking x value and I can pass marker equals to. So see, it automatically take x axis value and it will start from zero. So let's say I put four values here, three, five, seven, nine. So for x axis, it will take zero, one, two, and three. So if you see zero, one, two, and then three. And if I, you know, add one more value, let's say five for y axis, it will automatically take 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So see, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So like this, you can create value using y axis form. Okay. Now let me show you if I need to create multiple lines. So how can I create? Taking three parameters. So first is let's say y1 and then let's say y2 and y3. So I can change the name y2 and y3. And let's say I can change value let's say 4 and 8 and let's say 6 and 2. Okay. So since I need to create three lines. So that's why I have taken three parameters. If you need to take more, so you can take multiple parameters, more than three as well. Similarly, I need to pass PLT that plot three times. So Y1 and Y2 and Y3. Y2 and Y3. I can pass marker as well. Marker equals to O. And uh, let's say for differentiate, I can pass the color as well. Color equals to red. And let me copy this. I can paste here. And paste here as well. So marker not here actually O. Otherwise, it will give error. And uh, let's say I'm passing green here and orange here. Okay. Okay, so far we are good. Now let me run this. So see, we have got three lines here. And for x axis, it has taken by default four values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, now let's see if you need to create a scatter chart or bar chart. So, how you can do? Let me show you. So let's take these two values only and I can mention x and y instead of y1 and y2, x and y. Okay, and after that, I can write cloud dot scatter and I can pass this. So, see, I have a scatter chart. And you already know the properties, different properties, so I'm not mentioning again. 
like color, font, and title. Okay. And let's say if you need to create bar chart, so instead of scatter, you can write bar here. So see, you have bar chart. Okay. So as for the requirement, you can create different chart. We will discuss more complex scenarios in the upcoming session. Okay. Now let's take one example which I discussed initially as a part of this video. So what we are gonna do, we are we want to show sales by country. So let's say I have year, different year, let's say multiple year, and then I have different country sales. So I want to show the year wise country sales. Okay, so this is the scenario on X axis. I will show here and on Y axis. I will show the value of different countries using the line chart. Okay, so let me show you. Let me create so that you will understand better. So let's say here equals to I can say. 2018, 19, 20, and 21. Okay, after that, that's US sales equals to, let's say, $500, $600. Nine hundred and twelve hundred, and similarly, I'm taking UK sales. So UK sales, let's say five hundred, six hundred, eight hundred, and twelve hundred pounds. Okay, and I can mention four hundred. Okay, so far we are good. Now, let me pass the value. So, I could pass here and then US sales. Okay, and then let's say font color, not font color, color. I can pass that's a red. Okay. And the next one. I need UK sales. So I have here US sales color and here I can pass orange. Okay. And then here I can use log dot title. Let's say sales by country. Okay, then mention font size equals to twenty five and color equals to let's say. Red. Okay, and then on my X level, so for X level, what I need to mention plot dot X level, X level, I want to show the years, so I can pass year here, and the Y level. I need to show the sales. So I can change the name here. Okay. Now let me execute this. So see, I have the sales by country and I can pass the marker as well. Marker. 
Sorry, I need to correct the screen. Yes. Okay, so you can see that, and instead of 2018, I can pass here 50 and then 18 and then 20. Okay, and I also I'm also looking for legend as well, so I can pass legend as well. Let's see. For passing legend, I need to pass label name. So label equals to let's say this is US and label equals to this is UK. Okay, and uh, I can type the plot dot legend. Now let me add to this. I'm missing something. Let me check. Okay, the spelling is that here LED here. So, see, I have labels as well US, UK, and the country as well US, UK, and year as well. And see so the x axis, I can see here by axis sales and title sales by country. Since year and sales is very small, so I can increase the size. Twenty, twenty, sixty, twenty, twenty. So see. So like this, we can use different properties and different uh, functions. And uh, yeah, we can create even different line. Let's say I need to add one more so I can simply add here. UK, let's say. Belgium. Okay. And let's say nine hundred seven hundred. Now what I will do? I will take an another plot here, and I can mention like this here, and this would be the Belgium sales. And color I can pass. Let's say green, and label is Belgium. Okay, sales by country is fine. Area sales is fine. Let me execute this. Now let me execute this. So see, Belgium is also added in with the green. So like this, we can create, you know, multiple. Uh, we can add multiple countries. Okay, so guys, I hope it was useful. Thank you, everyone.